take the right door on your way down. There's no telling where you'll end up. Can you make it through? To the night's end. Well, friend, there certainly are some delicious stories here. I know we don't know what or who to believe, but the power gained from these stories is worth it. I have spent a millennia within my realm. Not once have I found a doorway to another realm. And then you came along, and now we have been drawn into two others, I don't know what your secret is, but I still think we have only seen the tip of your power. Has anyone ever approached you? Sometimes it feels like a dream. No? Are you sure? Okay. I believe you. After all that we've been through, why would you lie? Some of my people think I shouldn't trust you. Yes, you have saved me. Since we have met, I feel like my strength has started to diminish. This place is helping to fix that. But I don't feel as connected to the Dark One. Ah, don't worry about them. They are everyone and no one. They are all and nothing. They brought me to my realm and gave me the keys and made me promise one thing. Collect stories at all costs. They said I would remain strong if I did this. Anyway, if they ever contact you, Be wary. The power they can provide is second to none. But you can lose yourself. Tell me if they do, won't you? Good. Oh, look. Another door. Let's check it out. Frogman, written by Jordan Abernathy. Carter, just relax and tell me what has been bothering you. The last time you were here, it was for insomnia. Have you had any improvements in your ability to sleep? Dr. Bernard. That's what's caused my problems. Last time I was here, you recommended I find background noise to sleep at night. So I stumbled across this almost by accident. Can can I play it for you? Yes, please do. Frogs. Yes, frog sounds can be very soothing, very therapeutic. Did this work? Yes, it worked very well. I I would turn this on every night, and I'd be fast asleep within 15 minutes. So, it sounds like your insomnia was cured. Why do you not look more relaxed? Well, the insomnia was cured, but it caused other problems. Here, here is what happened. C. 
six weeks ago after my physiatrist session, I went home and went to sleep. I found frog sounds online and found them intoxicating and relaxing. Within 15 minutes, I would be sleeping like a baby. It would drown out any exterior sounds without the thoughts in my head that keep me anxious. It was marvelous. So I continued doing this. Every night, I would plug my earphones in and listen to sounds of frog noises to help fall asleep. I really didn't think too much about it. I'd wake up energized and enthusiastic. I didn't realize what was happening. Not until I was driving home from work. No. What's going on? There must be an accident ahead. This will take me forever to get home. Hmm. Maybe I can veer off and take this for V. It's a bit of a scary road, but uh, I'm sure it will be better than sitting parked here on the highway. really need to pay attention or you could drive off this road. What? I can understand what they're saying. He is a fascinating case. His skin is toxic. Somehow he has absorbed a poison to his skin. How it hasn't killed him, well, it's a mystery. Just make sure you do not touch his skin. Nurse, please make sure his skin is completely wrapped in bandages so he doesn't accidentally poison someone. Then... We will monitor him until his toxicity levels come down. Yes, doctor. We'll get him wrapped up here. With that, I need to bid you farewell. I need to check up on a couple other patients before the end of the night. I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Oh, that's Miss Richards again. Mike, would you be able to take over for me? Yeah, I can finish off here. Thanks, Mike. What the... I see at least Mike finished wrapping you up. Let's get this window closed. We don't want any unwanted guests jumping in tonight. Come on. Got it. Oh, how did you get out of bed? Stop! Mr. 
Maybe, maybe if I lay down, I can compose myself. building nope sorry does <laughs> she yeah absolutely uh, absolutely right we should be very quiet is this better much better <laughs> what was that Tyler was that you? What was what? Oh! Oh my god! There's a frog in the apartment! <laughs> Tyler, you need to go in there and get that frog out. How am I going to do that? I, I don't have any weapons. Tyler, it's a frog. It's not an African lion. I think you should be able to manage this. Yeah, but a frog's poisonous? I don't know. Just grab your tennis racket and smash it. Okay, okay. Three, two, one. Tyler, what's going on? Job, Tyler. You knocked out all the lights. <laughs> Tyler, are you fooling around? This isn't funny. <laughs> Tyler? <laughs> Tyler? No sign of Kathleen or Mike this morning? Nope, I haven't seen them so far. Okay, if you see either one, please message me. Let's check your pupils to see if they're dilated. Uh, I better put gloves on. Hmm, something's not right. Let me check your chart. Nurse! Nurse! What is it, doctor? Bring me some scissors. Thank you. Let's cut away those bandages from your face. Huh. The patient had blue eyes. This patient has brown eyes. <gasps> it's Mike. Call the police. Doctor, have you had any issues with pests? Around the hospital? Pests? Like rats? No. I was thinking more like, uh, frogs. There were several tiny footprints around the bed that looked like frog footprints. Frogs? See? It looks like a frog footprint. Are you suggesting that frogs came in and stole my patient and nurse and left the orderly in a coma? I am just pointing it out. It's just strange. No, I never noticed pests in the hospital. We keep a pretty tight ship here. Well, 
that wraps everything up for us. We'll keep you posted if there's any news. Hmm, frogs. The only frogs around here would have come from the ravine where the patient crashed his car. Maybe there was a frog in his clothing somewhere. Maybe that's how he and Mike got poisoned. If I could figure out what kind of frog it is, then I could figure out the poison. I need to go to the crash site and see if I can catch one of the frogs there. This must be the crash site. another body. The skin is completely removed. I need to get out of here. Hello, doctor. No! Carter, you... killed all those people? No. Dr. Burnett. I didn't kill them. I just captured them and I brought them to the frogs. They were still alive. The frogs will only eat the skin off the living. Why, Carter? Uh, the frogs told me to. It was in the recordings. And when I drove through the ravine... Okay, Carter. You can turn off the audio now. It's making me feel uncomfortable. Dr. Burnett. I already did. You've been listening to the Night's End Podcast, which is a production of Dissonance Media. Frogman was written by Jordan Abernathy. You can connect with him on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash jabernathy1. Dr. Bernard was performed by John Stinson from the Spooky Tales Podcast. Carter was performed by James Barnett. Doctor was performed by Phoenix Fire from the Phoenix Fire Narrations YouTube channel. Nurse Kathleen was performed by R.E. Rule.
from the Tiny Tales podcast. Mike the Orderly was performed by Brian Jeans. Ashley was performed by Rebecca Strazina from the podcast The West London Witch. Tyler was performed by Scott Davidson. Reception and Nurse were performed by Kate Wigan. Officer was performed by Alvin Bowling II, the host of the Ghost Light Theatre podcast. Jimmy Horace was performed by James Barnett. This episode was edited and produced by James Barnett. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. For extra content, join our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Night's End Podcast for as little as a dollar a month. And as always, stay horrific, everyone. <laughs>